dare you enter the House of Black. tell a lot about a competitor by looking in their eyes and based on what I've seen so far I'm calling this a stalemate no clear advantage two different disciplines two different states of mind but one common goal Malachi Black one of the most eerie unsettling enigmatic wrestlers of our time and Davey Richards has not flinched and the thing with Malachi Black is you know, he, he's not just an aura. He's not just an image or a look or a set of tattoos. Malachi Black can come out here dressed like anything he wants and still have that same presence and be just as dangerous because the fighting styles he's implemented make him practically lethal if he gets his hands on you.
You think these fans are hyped for this show? They can't pick a side. I honestly wouldn't expect them to. Here we go. There we go. Both men have held championships in many top-notch organizations. World caliber championships. Davey Richards, former world champion in his own right. Yep. In oh, ankle lock, ankle lock right away. Davey Sing went for that ankle lock. Whoop! Out, out. Malachi went for that roundhouse kick. It could have ended just like that. Both men in the early going, bringing the heavy artillery to test the other. Here. And Malachi, coolly, calmly, sitting down as if to say, I have you in my web. Never before have I heard that chant to see two men sitting cross-legged. Yeah, in the opening minute of the match, no less. But this it, will be the human game of chess, Brian. It's going to be move and counter move. Took the words right out of my mouth. There's going to be a lot of gamesmanship, a lot of mental, mental wrestling more than the physical kind. Both men are so focused. Davey Richards, of course, running Team Ambition in the St. Louis area. He's churned out many top prospects over the years that he's studied under him. And anybody that uh, has done so will tell you that Davey will not accept half-assed or 50%. It's all or nothing uh, with Davey Richards. If you don't bring it, get the hell out. That's right. Richards passing down what was taught to him by the Northwest legend, Tony Kazina. That's where Richards learned about grit, learned about tenacity. And keep in mind, Davey himself has upped his game and trained, you know, in catch wrestling under, you know, he studied the likes of Josh Barnett. Davey is always looking to expand his repertoire. And uh, meanwhile, Malachi has studied, uh, you know, some kickboxing, some Muay Thai, roll through, shoulders down. Gotta admit, after the night we've had, Joe, it's been kind of refreshing to see some graps. What a statement it would make, though, if some of these graps lead to a three count this early in the matchup. And I wouldn't say that it necessarily is possible with these men, but it is possible to catch your opponent sleeping. Absolutely. Sometimes you might over-prepare and over-train and get caught slipping in the places you'd least expect. If your mind is thinking two or three moves ahead and you just forget to kick out in time, I mean, we've seen it happen in wrestling before. It's like a football player dropping the ball before he can uh, catch the punt. Yeah. And there you see uh, Malachi took away the vertical base of Davey Richards. And look at the headline. Look at the wide base of Malachi. Davey tries to turn into a pinning combination. Malachi just trying to ride Davey and lean all of his body weight on top of the head and neck of the American Wolf. Right now you're seeing nothing fancy, nothing showy. These are fundamentals we're seeing at play here, and even that looks pretty devastating in the hands of either man. You look at that thick arm, and you just think that, that Malachi is applying so much uh, malice behind that pressure, but Davey counters, gets behind Malachi, into that uh, rear hammer lock. Oh, Davey's trying to muscle his shoulders down. He's done it, but only two. A small victory, even though it was a kick out. He was able to get Malachi on his back. And as explosive these two strikers are known to be, Brian, this match could end with a matter of inches, with a leverage move such as that on the mat. It could come down to the sweet science. It could come down to a submission, or it could come down to a blink and you miss it, Black Mass. Davey Richards, known all over the world for his technical ability, his classics. Malachi Black forging a legacy of his own. Well, notice Malachi has done his best to keep Davey Richards off of his vertical base thus far. Keep Davey off his feet, that takes away the much of the striking game, as well as a lot of the grappling. Davey does not have the leverage he needs to reverse until he gets to his feet, which he has now. Attempting to build momentum with these rolls. And the bridge back. And with <laughs> Malachi leaned forward, he was susceptible to a Davey strike. Look at that body language. He got a little upset there. He realized he got caught. Davey doesn't just hit you, he pounces when he senses an opening. 
Malachi Black, the thinking man's wrestler. He's very cerebral. Uh, excuse me. Easy for me to say. Very cerebral. He doesn't like to be outsmarted. Malachi is back to that knee, and Dave is connecting <laughs> higher around the chest cavity. Felt that. Oh! oh. Malachi is the taller of the two. One would think he would have a reach advantage when it comes to, to throwing these round kicks, these high round kicks. Look at this. Uh, now they're kind of one up at each other saying, you got some, I got some too, brother. This is tearing each other to take the other one off their feet. Davey needed the ropes for a moment. But a proud man back to his feet and sizing up the situation. The fans hanging on every move, every strike, every beat of sweat hitting that mat. It's Davey building the momentum. Malachi to the outside Whoa. for a breather. Redirection. Awesome. Swung the. Oh. Oh, he missed it. Malachi takes advantage. He kicked him right in the ankle. That sent Richards crashing down onto the floor below. And we've seen what that concrete floor has done to some wrestlers tonight. Yeah, Davey bounced off of the apron. He bounced off of the floor. And Malachi takes advantage. I think I still saw some of the thumbtacks on the floor, if I'm not mistaken. Well, what surprised me. I mean, there, there's shards of metal and wood everywhere around here. It's been a regular demolition derby. Mixed with that sweet grappling oh. style thrown in. I think I can see a thumbtack in Davy Richards' back. Uh, you kind of wonder how it compares. Oh, but look, that, oh, that leg. Oh, hang on. Uh, Davy favoring the leg, and, and, and the official has to get inter involved here and intervene. The most important thing in the job of a referee is ensuring the safety of our fighters. Right. That's right, these wrestlers, they fight to win, but sometimes the referee's got to step in here and exercise his judgment if someone can't go on. And if the referee has to call this matchup in the favor of Malachi Black, he will, even though Davey Richards may attempt to kill him. Malachi Black, you see that, uh, that, that black over his eye gets bigger every week. The evil that lives inside him, it seems, growing stronger. Oh! And that was one evil need of the solar plexus. Oh! Jeez. This is... Well, whatever problems uh, Davey was having with his knee earlier, they're about to get a whole lot worse. Without question. And Davey is just in agony right now. And I'm starting to question if Davey can get back in the ring. Oh! You can see he's holding right under his kneecap, that tendon. If that gets hit or tweaked in the right place, that can really ruin your whole day. Yeah. D and Davey has a, he has a rich history here at Prestige. He was the second ever Prestige champion. He would love to be back in that hunt, but he can't do it. Staying on the floor. And Davey Richards is back in. But Malachi Black showing no remorse. And Davy counters. Davy traps his shoulders. Oh, no. Had a heel hook in as well, I believe, but couldn't hold him down. You have to wonder how the size of Malachi could affect the catch grappling game that Davy normally excels in. As yeah. Malachi top again. That was a close one. I think he's got a he's a taller man, a higher center of gravity. If Richards is able to somehow come back and eliminate the base himself. Oh my God. Whoa, look at that torque. Malachi leaning back all of his weight on Davey Richards' knee, pulling it forward. Davey has no choice but to go with the pressure or that knee could dislocate. Davey may have to tap this thing away. No, not quite. Like you said, this match could end with the submission, with the grappling style. Look at that. And for all the pain that you see radiating through his face and his body, Richard still has the wherewithal to grab that rope. It's hard to imagine Davey Richards or Malachi Black tapping to anybody. But if anybody could do it, it could be the other. And again, the official doing a great job, close in on the action, talking to Davey Richards, getting an update on his physical status. Malachi Black couldn't give a damn less. 
time these two faced off in the ring it was seven years ago in Germany. The Wolves came out on top against Malachi Black and Michael Dante. But that was a long time ago, and both men have grown so much. And these men have never met in the United States of America until tonight. At Prestige Wrestling, Davey fires off the round kick, but he hurt his own knee on impact, and a low bridge heads blocked to the outside. Davey's got to ask himself this question now. How strong is the leg? And answer it honestly. Don't be prideful. Don't block it out. Analyze it accurately, because you're going to need all the limbs you can get fighting Malachi Black. As oh, and there you go. There you have it. Even trying to run the ropes was too much. But to your, to your point, Joe, Davey Richards is the kind of wrestler who blocks that kind of pain out, who tries to fight through it. Look at this, the resourcefulness, the ring awareness. Davey traps the knee oh! of Black and, ouch! Just wrenches it across that rope, which, I mean, you know as well as I do, that's, you know, closer to a, a tightly enforced cable than it is an actual rope. I mean, the bounce back effect, the whiplash effect it can create, it puts you in a very, very disadvantageous position. The dragon screw combined with the rope could Spell the end of your career if not careful. Double oh. stop, nobody oh. there. You see, he came down on that, on that injured leg. Whoop. Oh. Davy, a midstream adjustment. And this inverted figure four, this trailer Look at hitch, call it whatever you will. Black oh. is in a world of pain and in the center of the ring. You can see Malachi trying to grab the toe of Davy Richards, but the pain is too much. Look at that pressure on his ankle and on the knee. And Malachi could use that reach. Can he find a rope? Look at the, the contorted ankle of Malachi Black. So close, but so far is Black. Malachi wills himself to salvation. You know, that rope looks like it's close by. It looks like it's just a reach away, but it's hard to concentrate on anything when your legs are ready to snap like that. The question here, though, Brian, has Davey effectively utilized an eye for an eye and injured the knee of Malachi, much as Malachi had done Davey? I would say it's about even now. I think they've done equal amounts of damage to each other's legs. At this point, we're back to square one. I, I, I'm not sure who that would be more disadvantageous to. Both can use their legs most expertly in striking. Oh, at this point, it comes down to who makes a mistake oh. and who capitalizes on that mistake. Malachi went suplex Davey, oh. the short knee, but again came down favoring. Ooh. Oh my god, how are these two able to withstand and absorb that pain and exchange in these kicks? Both Don't bring down a lesser man. Using the healthy knee to kick out the injured knee. Roundhouse miss. Oh. High German suplex on the shoulder. That black mass for the second time was avoided. That might have been the luckiest break da Davies got. Oh! And Black with a high knee of his own. And both men are hurt. And speaking of break, I wouldn't be surprised if that was a led to a broken orbital bone. These two have given you everything here so far. It feels like things are at a dead heat. Any man could win. And you can hear the respect from these fans towards both men and the platform that made it possible, Prestige Wrestling. Look at this, Malachi, you can see he's already going for that ankle. Richards trying to Trying to cement his status as one of the greats of this territory on a global stage on IWTV. Every shot's knocking Davey down, but he will crawl. He'll crawl through hell, literally and figuratively, to fight oh. Malachi. What a scintillating leg oh. sweep. We know what this often leads to. The fans see it coming, but does Davey? What? Davey caught the leg! Into the ankle lock, yeah, he cinched it in! You don't want to leave your leg in the reach of Davey Richards, he will sex blood and capitalize! And what? Malachi screaming in pain! What wherewithal by Richards, the American Wolf, 
to grab that roundhouse kick and prevent the third attempt at a black mass. And Davey, a kick right to the chest cavity. Extra point is good. Malachi is dazed. The hunt is on. The cry of the wolf. Double still connects, but he, what did Davey do to the knee? He hits it. Like the wind out of black. No! And it was that few seconds to favor the knee that could have been the difference in a win and a loss. Brainbuster! Malachi is down. Davey has the leg. Whoa! No! Are you kidding me? But Davey's not done. He goes right back to the egg lock. Davey Richards does not let up on the body on body contact. He will stay tenaciously zeroed in on that ankle. Good escape. No! And Richards was knocked out before he hit the ground. Good night, Davey. Davey, Davey couldn't keep his balance on the ankle lock because of the damage to the knee. And Malachi capitalized. What a match. Davey couldn't get the footing he needed. Couldn't plant the feet, get the leverage, get torque on that ankle. And because of the damage done, Malachi has won small the match. And the House of Black Malachi wins. Black! On a show that already gave you everything and more than you could have possibly asked for. What a way to wrap things up on Prestige's first event in two years. An unbelievable dream match with an unbelievable conclusion. And Brian, whether I'm Dalton Castle, Tom Lawler, Mike Bailey, Sonico, Jaden, Tankman, and especially if I'm Alex Shelley, I'm keeping my eye on the results of this particular matchup because I think Malachi Black is in prestige wrestling to stay. And after a performance like that, who's going to stop him? Malachi knows he's been through a war. And Davey Richards feels it just the same. Look at that. Malachi Black, he doesn't look like a winner. If you want my opinion, he looks like he's been through a war. These two, both these men look like survivors, bottom line. I, I hope Davey's okay. I hope there's no long-term damage to that knee. Davey tried to block out that pain. You made an excellent point. Davey tried to block it out, tried to be mentally stronger than his physical ailment. But at the end, it was as undoing as Malachi was able to, to use that to throw Davey off balance and get out of that ankle lock. It was a game of chess, and Malachi found checkmate first. The 1,000 strong in Portland, Oregon, witnessed a war that may never be replicated. How are you going to top this? Well, we'll find out Pomona, California, live on IWTV February 27. But uh, the energy in this building still palpable as I don't believe anybody's left yet. No one's trying to beat the traffic. They're soaking it all in tonight. If, if he should extend the hand, perhaps. I'm not even sure Davey can stand. Yeah. I, I, well, Davey will stand, and Davey still wants to fight. He's not done. I admire that, but... The bell has been tolled. The decision's been rendered. Davey won't, he doesn't have to like it. But maybe there'll be another day. Again, 
as in the start of the match. The eyes are the story. Look at that. I don't know, I can't read lips. I don't know what he said. This could be a respect offering. This could explode at any second. No matter what the message was, it seems Malachi Black might be trying to extend that olive branch after the complete battle we just saw. Davey's a proud man, sometimes to a fault. Uh, wait. The hell? What? Who killed the lights? Whoa. What's going on? Can you see anything, Joe? I, I have no idea what's happening. Oh, oh my God! God. What the hell? Sprouted kick down the hair! Oh! You said his name earlier! Who would have thought he'd show up here tonight? It's the House of Black! When they say the house always wins, brother, they ain't kidding. Brody King is here in Prestige Wrestling. And the House of Black standing tall over the wilted rows of Davy Richards. Oh, what a visual this is. It's, we're playing by house rules in Prestige Wrestling with Brody King backing up Malachi Black. to in prestige, who's going to stop them? Who's going to challenge these two? Is the prestige championship safe from Alex Shelley? Well, one thing's for sure, the next target of the House of Black is whatever the hell Malachi Black wants it to be. A dark cloud over prestige wrestling. But it's house rules with Brody King and Malachi Black. We'll see you next week in Pomona, February 27th on RWTV.